Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Today we're going to do a worm test on coffee cups, takeaway coffee cups. Now I have touched on them once before. I did a video on a clean up after one of our dances and that included trying a coffee cup in a worm farm along with plates and other things. And I'll put the link up the top now if you want to go and check that video out. But I thought I'd do a specific video purely just on these coffee cups because people ask all the time. So this will be a really good demonstration of exactly what happens uh, and the worms do eat most of them, but they do have a plastic film inside, which is, uh, they've also got very, very old coffee stains. These have been lying around for a while, waiting for a chance to do a test. So these coffee cups are not recyclable in our normal recycling curbside pickups in Australia. And I don't think anywhere would do them because they present a real issue having that plastic film inside, which we will demonstrate. The lids, however, can go in the recycle bin. So they are a number six on the recycling scale, which is PS is polystyrene. Now that is the same plastic as this white foamy stuff. This is polystyrene. Uh, this is known as expanded uh, EPS, expanded polystyrene. And it cannot go in the curbside recycle bins because it actually breaks up and cannot be handled by the machinery. That's the only reason it is actually recyclable. But these ones can go in the bins. They can be recycled at the facilities. So recycle those. Do not put these in the recycling bin because it will contaminate the load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up uh, so that I can lay them flat. Now they're just from various takeaway shops. Some well known. Some actually I don't know. That might have been just a supermarket brand. And I'm not sure where that one was from probably a boutique coffee shop or something so I'll cut them flat and then we'll find a place in one of my testing bays to let the worms get at it okay I've just cut them up I've um, taken the bases out I don't think that's necessary because the base is going to be the same material as the sides I did notice that um, all these ones advertising have a, a separate jacket or a sleeve uh, this one didn't so it's obviously I think just a supermarket brand but the McCafe one, you can see, has a separate sleeve. And same with the wild bean one. So I'm assuming that that sleeve will be just like a cardboard, and that should go. And then the actual uh, structure of the cup should be eaten as well. But then we're going to be left with a plastic film that you really can't see. It just feels a little waxy. But uh, the worms will soon prove what it's made of. So we'll spread those four pieces out in the uh, testing bay and let the experiment begin. So I've spread them out in this bay here. I've put them paper side down because that will sort of soak up moisture and allow the worms to get into it from underneath. Um, this bed hasn't been used for quite some time. Uh, it's nice and damp, but I didn't see any, any evidence of worms here but uh, there are some up the other end getting involved in the little project I've got going. So I'm sure they'll come along if they're interested. So we'll leave it for now. We'll keep it damp as usual. And uh, we'll check it in, I don't know, we'll check it in a few weeks and see if anything's happening. Now this takeaway coffee cup experiment actually got moved and not, not long after you last saw it. And I moved it to the end of this garden. Now it's been here for quite some time. Uh, probably about six weeks maybe even a couple of months so I haven't worried about it and things have been rather cold here with some frosty weather and wet, a wet, bit of a wet winter we're having so um, the worms have slowed up their production now you can see that they haven't really eaten much of it but they are starting to break down and I thought I saw one in here I thought there was a worm in here Maybe he's gone. But they appear to be breaking down and you can see that the plastic, the lining plastic is becoming more and more evident. Let's have a look at that one. So they are gradually breaking down as far as the paper goes. And I certainly wasn't worried about the time these took. It was really just an experiment to show you uh, how these cups are actually what they're actually made up of 
And you know, even the paper on the outside really doesn't seem to be decaying like normal paper does. It may have a waxy coating. It may have a... I don't think it's got a plastic film. The plastic film certainly on the inside. But, oh yeah, look at that. There's a plastic film. So the paper part on that one's really coming apart. So we'll leave it a fair bit longer. I'm not worried about the time it takes. Uh, hopefully, eventually, if the outside is just paper or cardboard, it will be eaten. And we'll be left with only the plastic film to show you basically the inner lining of these coffee cups and why you shouldn't put them in the recycling or your compost bin or your worm farm for that matter. So I'll leave this for a month, another month or two. The weather will start to warm up. I'm sure they'll, uh, the worms will finish off whatever they want. And uh, we'll give you a final report at some stage down the track. Okay, it's time for a final report on these coffee cups. It's been probably about eight weeks, a couple of months. We're well into spring here. The weather's warming up and this has just been neglected so let's see what's going on i have looked at it a couple of times and the dog was on here the other day scratching around so things haven't it's been a bit jumbled up but there we go look at that what do we got pretty well just a film of plastic that's pretty well just plastic couple of little bits of the original cardboard there but that's just about a pure sheet of plastic this one looks much the same. So the microbes and the worms have all done their job. There's still a little bit of a label on that one. So it may have had some sort of treatment, some sort of spray finish. It actually feels a little plasticky, that one. But some parts of it has been, have been eaten. This one is pretty well just plastic, nothing much left on that at all. And the last one's actually stuck to the back of the carpet. And that is... It looks like a piece of cling wrap. There you go, that's your coffee cup. That's what stops the boiling coffee spilling on your lap and making the cardboard soggy. But that, more importantly, is what stops these things being able to be recycled properly. So, if that's not proof I don't know what is, do not put your takeaway coffee cups in the recycle bin. Do not cut them up and put them in your compost. Do not put them in your worm farm. Particularly if you cut them up or shred them like a lot of people shred cardboard for their worms because you'll end up with little strips of plastic contaminating your um, worm castings. So we'll have to put that in the rubbish bin. I think we can safely conclude this experiment. Four coffee cups have come down to basically a ball of almost like cling wrap plastic. So hopefully someone can come up with a better system for these coffee cups because... What you see there was just four. That adds up to an enormous amount of waste worldwide when you think how many coffee cups are used. They can't be reused. They just have to go to landfill. So it would be awesome to have some sort of proper disposable coffee cup that doesn't pollute the planet. So um, get your thinking caps on. We need to do something, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something from that. I mean, most of you probably knew some of you may not have, but most of you probably knew, but it's always nice to see it in person. Watch something. That's actually really tough. It will tear. But yeah, terrible plastic. All right, catch you next video. Bye.